Well, this fight is all thanks to our sponsors, Fight Life. Ladies and gentlemen, in our blue corner, please welcome Colby Fitness. And in the red corner, Chris Thorne. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all thanks to Fight Life, we are in the amateur featherweight division. Firstly, fighting out of our blue corner. He weighed in at 65.4 kilos with an unbeaten record of three fights and three victories. Training under Joe Lopez, fighting out of the freestyle fighting gym in Shell Harbor, New South Wales. Please welcome the golden boy, Colby Thickness. Fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 66.3 kilos. Three fights for two victories. As he trains under Pasha Stolia, fights out of the Southside Arena MMA gym, Chris Thorne. Garth Harriman in charge of our next bout of the evening. Chris Thorne fighting out of Southside MMA versus Colby Thickness. And ladies and gentlemen, the party is just getting started. Benny Alloway, Jacob Anderson, good evening once again. I'll tell you what, Chris Thorne looking super intense at the moment. There's a boy who's come out and touch hands. He Ooh. is a crowd favourite. Here is Chris Thorne. The jerky head movement here from Colby coming out. Oh, good, good mm. leg kick. Oh. Yeah, and you saw the wince in Colby's face. And there it is again, and Colby obviously... Sees the danger, goes in for the takedown. Yeah, the game plan has been given up. 
tell you what, two of those leg kicks will do that to you. Yeah, 100%. Throw everything out the window. Chris Thorne, a bit unlucky in his last fight against Cody Wadigo. Another shot at redemption for him here tonight. I think just looking for that outside reap-ish outside mm. trip. Mm. And when you talk about experience, boys, Paul Pasha Stoiler in the corner of Chris Thorne, you can't go wrong having a goal like that. I'll tell you what, I'd be more afraid of him than my opponent. <laughs> Boys jockling, juggling for position here. Oh, beautiful exchange of knees right into the solar plexus. Thorn just looking for any opportunity to grab the legs and force a takedown. He picks up a single leg. The forehead of Thorn just being pushed into the side of Colby. Thorn doing well to keep position here. Good. Use of his head earlier. Now he's in half that half more tight, looking for the outside. Those thickness um, committed massively on that route that you were talking about. Going for that body lock. He's just a little bit too high on those takedowns. He needs to almost solidify his hands around the hips. Yeah, he's definitely loosening up on his body lock as he goes for the trip. He needs to lock it all together. Mm. Brutal knees there by Chris Thorne. And Colby looks hurt. That one goes up top. And a massive oh. body shot. Under a minute left to go. But Chris Thorne could finish it here. Colby looks hurt. <laughs> he looks wobbly. He does not look the same. Oh, a cheeky little left comes through the guard. Oh, he cops one straight back. And now he finally can put the again straight into the guillotine. Gotta watch the guillotine. Pops out. Yeah, Thorne just out. ran out of cage there and he just got put into the corner. Back and forth we go, brothers. Now he sits in the mount there, tries mm. to slide both. Three quarter guard, aka poor man's mount, straight into full mount. Get Chris Thorne cannot sit here. This is not a good position. Not oh. only are these shots ringing his ears, but it is a terrible way to finish the round. Well, ten seconds right. out. You'd have to think Chris Thorne did enough. He ended up in a bit of a tough position there. Yeah, towards the end of the round, Thickness definitely getting the better position, landing a few shots. Who knows what the judges are thinking tonight? I would not be sitting in any bottom position at all during any stage of the fight tonight. Cost-effective websites and SEO, that's what they do. Our sponsors, maxmoment.com.au. Round two. Bit more pep in the step of Colby Thickness. Here in the second as he eats a left leg kick. And oh. again, and again, and he switches it up. He says, I don't want none of that. Oh, that is a telltale sign if you're born, and he goes straight back to it. He can smell the proverbial blood. Oh, a right hand comes over the top, and it straightens Thorne up. Wow, Colby opening up here in the second. Thickness wants to take it back down to the mat where he felt he had an advantage in the first round, and I'm inclined to agree. Take a look at his left leg there. It's the calf kicks which has really looked to be the ones that have caused him a bit of pain. Not too much reddening on his thigh, but it's just halfway up his, between his knee and his ankle there. Right, it'll hamper some of that mobility. Really looking for the takedown, looking. 
Although pretty dominant so far with his body lock. He just needs to get a little bit of score. But again, we're out of style, mate. It's more of a controlling body lock, isn't it, than a takedown body lock? Yeah, doing enough just to keep his opponent on the cage rather than take him down and, and score some points or look to finish the fight. Well, we saw in our previous fight with Jaden Binney, if you don't make it work for you, the judges will make it work for the opponent, and that's exactly what we may see here. Colby Thickness in control. Not so much anymore, but I'll tell you what, he's got to work. Yeah, he's right. spurting a little bit of blood out of his nose at the moment. Never a good sign. Both guys. Ooh. Fantastic defense by Chris Thorne. He digs an underhook. I'd like to see him follow the underhook, as they say, and try to use it to spin him around. At least break and get out of this position. He's been hanging here for far too long. And he does just that. Looks like he's working on the neck there. He might have a bit of a grip Ooh. on the guillotine. Oh, here we oh, go he here. fancies it. When they drop yeah, like that, Benny. Oh, my oh, goodness. That. that is very tight, boys. The hand was oh. there for the tap. I think it's over, guys. I think it's over. That looks so, so deep. Look at where the hips are. He can just drive into that choke. Oh, he's out. He's out. Wow. Thorne is just being put through the ringer. Well, that to me is sheer determination and heart. And I tell you what, Chris Thorne finding himself in a bit of trouble early on in the second round. Later on in the second round. Sorry, Jacob. Yeah. Oh. Big things. Tommy looks oh. out. He's turning it around here. Oh. oh, and a big right hand goes over the top. Maybe Thorne feels that Cobby's lightening up. He might be a little bit gassed. He used a lot in that choke. And back again. He's then again. He slips again. On the knee. We try to go for a flying guard. Post back and forth around. we go. Woo. Thickness with a nod as he comes up. He likes the way that round ended. Garth Harriman signals the third round. They touch him up, but they miss. However, we are underway, and that leg kick hurt him. Jacob, yeah. see the wince in the face. Oh, I 100% did, and you were all over it, mate. To your point before, Benny, as well, they're not really on the thigh, are they, or that IT band as it comes down the leg? They're sort of a bit lower, and you can see on the outside where the calf is. And Thickness just being forced to react to it. He throws a left hook yeah. back. He's got to get in close here. Whoa. Yeah, much more damaging kick if you take it low on the calf. You can't take as many as you can on your thigh. Right. It really, really stops you from putting that weight. There's just so much density to a thigh compared to that there. There's two little bones in there and not a lot of meat to absorb it. It's funny you mentioned that Joe Rogan talked about that technique not too long ago on his podcast, the, the lead kick to the top of the thigh. Mm. I'll tell you what, it's working a charm here for Chris Thorne tonight. Mm. Not wrong. Oh, oh and the knee. Thorne looking strong. At, you know, so far this round, Thorne looks to be taking control. I like that he's going to that leg, but he needs to give him something else to respect, something to mix it up with, maybe a right hand. Yeah, it's just too many one shots. Yeah. Thorn for my liking. I mean, don't count thickness out. We thought he's been out before and he's come back swinging. And you see it again. And again, here he comes. It is working, but he's not giving thickness a lot of data to overload his CPU. Yeah, so Thorn to speak. looking for the guillotine or just using it as a defensive grip and he slides off just to reverse position. Thickness again. Oh, getting some good shots over the top there. 
Storm committing to a takedown. He gives up on it. Stickness, the shorter man, just still manages to use that underhook, digs it, turns him around like the wheel on a bus. I'll tell you what, what a battle of attrition between these two fellas. Just the, the battered leg that right of hand landed. Yeah, and he still comes forward. You can't stop him. I'm not sure if I'm seeing this correctly, but I think I think Fitness has not got a mouthpiece in. Oh. 30 seconds left in this fight. Chris Thorne versus Colby Thickness. And again, we've seen this previously tonight. It's going to come down to who wants it most. Yeah. Possibly with an occupational hazard as veteran MMA fighter Benny Blanco just pulled up. Hopefully he doesn't eat a shot to that, that jaw. Winging shots over the top, his thickness with that battered lead leg. Ten and he just left. hangs in. He's choosing to just eat the kick to throw the left hook. He's coming forward, he says, let's stand the trade. Oh, a right hand over the top from thickness. Horn hanging in there, just staying out of range. Wow. What a fantastic finish to this fight. Whoa. Well done to both fighters. Warriors. Here tonight. Absolute warriors. It's the only thing that comes to mind. Thickness, by some strange miracle, has done that whole third round without a mouthpiece. After three rounds of MMA, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges score this fight 29-28. It's a unanimous decision. To the red corner, Chris Thorne. Chris Thorne victorious here tonight. No dispute from the opponent. And he is a crowd favourite as we see. Yeah, the cage control, back and forth. We couldn't really give one either way and all that. The grappling exchanges were very, very evenly matched for the most part, even though they did have their moments of shining. But you cannot look past that just battered calf that we kept going back to. And Vaughn just kept pounding it home like a baseball bat, smacking the ball for a home run. Chris Vaughn takes it.